my cheese is. Hey guys, Jay the Great Pitches You here, and welcome back to. Well, not really welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a Minecraft uh, Redstone slash Command Block video. Um, and today, as you can read, I am doing a showing you guys how to run commands basically mirrored so like say you're facing one way and a command goes back towards you if that that, that makes no sense at all okay okay picture the picture like this let's let's find Let's find a armor stand or something. Okay. So let's say you're facing this way. The armor stand is facing this way. Or something. I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. And you run a command because you're facing this way. And that command is thus reflected back to you because that creature or whatever is facing the opposite direction of you. Basically, you could do this for like what I used it for, which will make 10 times more sense, um, which is going to be probably in the next Minecraft video that I post. Um, Medusa's head. So here we have two zombie skulls uh, named, Medusa, named Medusa's head, which you can do here and I'm gonna show you guys what what exactly I mean hey buddy so you notice how he's frozen because he's looking at me that's what this video is that's all this video is and it's going to be like a three minute video and because of that I'm gonna have get no views like every other video but my Minecraft videos seem to do well so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and um, yeah, it'll be, it'll, it'll, it's easy. It's literally only like eight command blocks. Okay, so um, the first thing is, um, are not players, um, scoreboard objectives. Okay, so I'm alternate after the fact, J. Um, so, there's a problem with the recording. Well, at least with the next part that I was supposed to play for some reason. Not really sure what it was. But I'm going to I'm just I'm just gonna explain what these command blocks do. Um first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do scoreboard layers, not players. I did this last time. Objectives add um, whatever you want to minus hold head because that's what I used. You're gonna uh, let's let's use just juxtaposition. I don't know why juxtaposition. It's just the word that came to my mind. Um, you're gonna do dummy as I usually do with these commands, but you could technically do anything you want to, and I think I say that in earlier in, like later in the video um but yeah you can do any you can do any um thing really if you want to if you want to have it set by a certain uh parameter if you want it to be whatever anyway so but for in this case i used dummy and i used hold head and that's that so now we're gonna look at this part. We're not gonna look at this part yet because I did that in the last recording and it was a little bit weird. Um, so as you can see on the right side, whenever I hold this head, there's a timer that goes up. So these three right here are going to be your clock for executing and doing whatever you need to make sure that your player does has the right set of stuff uh, to say um, and remember you just do give at all or at P or at S 
or enter your name if you want to. Um, you do command block and it'll give you command block. Bada boom, bada bam. Got your stuff command block. Look at it in all of its glory. Um, yeah, so let's start with this one. So over here, I have it set, I have a command set for scoreboard players add at all um, who are holding Medusa's head, which is this item that I have in my inventory and it adds their score hold head to one. Um, this command will be in the description. Um, you can change this little part to whatever you want to be, but make sure that you keep like all this extra stuff because uh, if you don't, you won't be able to put in commas or spaces, which depending on who you are, can be a slight annoyance. For me, it is a slight annoyance, but yeah, um, we'll be in the description. So is that. Um, and then this one over here, simply running command for score where players add at all who's hold head or whatever score you want it to be with a score of at least one or more to add hold head one because for whatever reason I had, no, I had an, another clock going on um, where I was just setting anyone whose hold head was set to one and setting it to zero and that just caused a problem because then you have to place these after that and it's just, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. So this is a simpler, slightly less chaotic way of doing it. And there's less room for error. This next command is just setting any player whose score hold head um, is two or more equal to zero. So as you can see, it counts up to two, then goes back to zero. Um, this gives ample time to run the command and run it back. So, okay, yeah. so now we get on to the actual directional part of the um, actual commands. As you can see, the arrows on here all point in the four directions. You can change this to be the eight directions, which would be like mm, southeast, northeast, northwest, southwest, but for what I was doing, I did not really need that. Um, I just have it set to encompass a little bit of southeast, a little bit of northwest, or northeast, kind of. Um, so I only needed the four. Um, but let's take a look at the actual base command that we have here. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't copy the, the, the whole thing. Crap. Uh, I don't, I wanted to go back to when, like, it would, it would move. It would, like, you know, move with the, with the cursor, but you know what, whatever. Anyway, so this command is running an execute as at all whose y rotation is between 158 and negative 158 um which is this area right here which is north um and bloop at all whose scores hold head one is greater than one so one or two um at the person that ran the command, which would be the player to do a an, another run command or do a run a command. So that's the basis of this. And the, this whole thing is the directions. Um, that's north. This is e west, west. This is, um, south and that's east so yeah um, these will all be in the description but now let's take a look at the second part of this so uh, let's not use this one let's use this one okay so this one is running to the 
west. So when the player looks to the west, it's gonna run a command and it runs a command. Um, it runs the command effect and it gives gives an effect to any entity with the Y rotation of basically to the east. Um, so if they're looking towards this direction, i.e. at me, um, and I'm looking at them, then it will give them slowness. Um, this distance dot 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 s just means in a radius of less than six. It'll give them slowness. You can not have this. You can have this if you want to. Doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, if you notice that this second part in the command, this one right here, yeah, it's 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 the same thing that is in the first part of the opposite direction. So really, once you get two of these, you can do the rest. Um, but yeah, that's literally the basis of this and then the next part involves this command so i'm gonna give it back to old me and hopefully the video audio lined up in that part and i won't have to re-record it um now you can do this with literally any command if you want to for example um you can do run say hi if you want to um so now we can summon an armor stand now granted it is i'm only gonna run if i hold this but um yeah look said hi simple very simple now time to switch it up on you so here's the switch up so as you can see here i got the armor stand to actually say hi back to me so for certain commands like hi and tell raw or things such as that that actually require it to for real for real be the um, to be the like executor because technically over here the executor is not this you are as you can see by this this is my name saying hi that's all it is but if you wanted say an npc or something in your map building or whatever you're doing to talk to you or say something when you look at them and you, they look at you or whatever I don't know what you use this for it's your own thing it's your map do whatever you want to but um, you're simply going to change it to this um, now remember we're still gonna keep this first part the same but we're gonna change it to now it's going to run another execute command which I also put this little execute chain in the description as well you're gonna execute as the entity that is looking at you, you can remove the distance if you want to. Um, which, by the way, if you remove this, literally you're you'll be fine to run a command that says "Hi." So right now, it's not saying "Hi." No, he says "Hi." Hi, Mr. Understand. And you can do this with let's let's summon in let's summon in a zombie. That's not how you do that. There we go. Uh, let's get his. Dang it. Let's get. I didn't know they added those spawn eggs. Oh my god, it's been so long. Come on, Mr. There we go. Hey, Mr. Zombie. You wanna eat some bread? Ouch. Ouch. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the zombie is saying hi to me. And you can use this in a multitude of ways, really. Um, I am trying to think of a way that you can do this to make a little laser grid with like mirrors and stuff or like have these babies these 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 babies as little mirrors because you can change the facing of them and things such as that but you'll have to get back to me on that one um, when when i do do that but as you can see very simple easy way to do it 
Um, you just literally it's just these um, seven commands because this one all this one is it's literally just a particle effect I have going on around me um, but yeah if you don't need to put in that extra little line of stuff um, you just use these at the scoreboard do with it whatever you want to um, then you have the little scoreboard taker that I use and then boom bam it's not really that hard and then if you want to go an extra step you can add another XGQ command to go in there and it'll run it as the actual entity so that'll be it for this little short tutorial video um, if you guys want me to do or try some more stuff leave it down in the comments and I will see if I can and I'll make a video of it but uh, do hit the notification bell like if you like it dislike it if you dislike it if it doesn't work tell me and if this is like I don't know two years from now don't comment that it doesn't work because I had that happen on my um, lightning sword video which was like a year ago minecraft changes people the man's change so it's not gonna work forever and i will just say that and i will make an updated video of it um but yeah that's all i got um if you got some stuff for me to do i'll do it or at least i'll try and i may or may not start streaming we're gonna see how we're gonna see if i do that but I'll see you guys in the next video.